This is Alexander George with Inside Ambition, and I'm here to talk to the president of CAB, Drexel's largest student-run event planning organization. Hi, Nicole, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So why don't you start by introducing yourself and what CAB is for those who don't know. Yeah, so I'm Nicole. I'm a senior economics and legal studies major, so I will be graduating in just a little over a month. Um, the Campus Activities Board, as you said, is the largest undergraduate student event planning organization. And we do events like the concert in the fall, which we co-host with Dragon Concert Series, to smaller events, trips to Broadway, um, the big black party that usually happens on Lancaster Walk. Um, usually non-virtual events, but we're still getting used to it. Mm -hmm. So how have you guys been operating with all this virtual stuff? Yeah, so it's been a little bit difficult because we plan all of our events a full term beforehand. So we had our full lineup ready for spring term, um, which has obviously since been canceled. So we spent the first few weeks of spring term kind of like canceling everything. Luckily, we only processed a few of our purchase orders, so that was pretty good on our end. Um, and then we only had to cancel one event last term, which was going to be a winter carnival Mm -hmm. type event similar to block party but winter themed um so since then we've been kind of figuring out how we can do virtual events um it's been kind of difficult just because campus engagement is down to like one credit card for their entire department wow. so submitting purchase orders is a lot more difficult than it used to be and we also just want to be conscientious not to like purchase things i don't know it's like a little bit weird especially just you know, ordering things from Amazon and everything right now, considering how essential workers are treated and mm -hmm. um, wanting to be cognizant of that. Um, so we've been trying to figure out, we're going to get Jackbox games, so we're also trying to figure out how to do a music bingo, similar to Landmark. Um, we've been doing that. We tried it last week at GBM, like our general body meeting, and it was it went pretty well, but the audio is kind of weird on Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, so things like that, just we've been keeping an open zoom call open just if anyone wants to hop on a call we'll have like some updates here and there but it's definitely not our full normal operation that we're used to mm -hmm. uh what do you think i mean cab could have just said we're ceasing all operations we are not going to host any events why did you guys decide to stay open and why do you think it's important that you did yeah so we want to still be there for the student body because internally obviously like our own students and um, our own members of the organization are facing and like treat are being treated by the pandemic differently. Like we do have some people that are essential workers or are looking for co-ops if their co-ops are canceled. So trying to be aware of everyone's situation, it's obviously very different, but we're also aware that's the same for the external student body. So we want to mm -hmm. make sure that we're ever present, just kind of like a light when it's this weird dark time. So and we're very open to like any virtual event ideas if anyone has them. It's just a little harder to execute since the timeline is so pushed back right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes total sense, but I'm happy to see that you guys are at least trying. Um, <laughs> I know that this is your last term as CAB's president, but what's next for CAB looking into the summer or even the fall? What do you see as the future? Yeah, so right now, as everyone knows, we don't really know how long this whole lockdown is going to really last or how long we have to like socially distance ourselves. So we're trying to think ahead how that will affect our fall events. Um, the one good thing is as we like try to navigate this virtually, we can try to implement the same kind of things during the summer since we, like every other student organization, mm -hmm. don't have access to a budget over the summer. So it's kind of like allowed us to get a little bit more creative and um, figure out how we can translate that in the future. Um, we've also been working on transitioning, so we just elected our new president and our entire executive board, so we're working on that transitional process. And then we're also trying to think about how things will be acting in the fall. Um, something I recommended to our new traditions director, traditions like on cap, by the way, is like our um, like long long lasting events. So like the concert, comedy show, and crystal ball, which is like the homecoming dance. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to think about okay, what if we can't have the concert in the fall? Like, does it make sense to move it to the spring? Does it make sense to implement like a new large event like eSports or something else that we can still have like that large presence and be engaged, but not put anyone in harm's way mm -hmm. or kind of follow the protocols we need to. 
and even thinking about when we move to on-campus events how we can spread out our events instead of keeping them in one place like if we were to do block party again maybe spread it out throughout the campus instead of having it just on Lancaster Walk. That's really good smart thinking um, <laughs> <laughs> and if students want to be attending cab events right now where should they be going to find them? Yeah, so we actually have a website, it's drexelcab.com, so you can either sign up for our newsletter on there, we're going to try to be more present with our newsletter, especially with promoting virtual events, and we also are very present on Instagram, which we've been kind of running like a senior series since we're kind of aware that like sometimes you don't really get to, now that we're like virtual, you're not really aware of like who's on our organization mm -hmm. as much since you don't see us in our orange shirts or on campus, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just check us out. And is there anything else that you want students to know about CAB? Um, yes, so we're going to still try to do virtual recruitment, so if you've been wanting to join, if you've been wanting to find out more about CAB, we will be trying to still do recruitment, even if it's through Zoom calls, so make sure you like check out that on our social media as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with me. Uh, thank you.